It's easy enough to eat the plant paradox way when you're home in the comfort of your own kitchen, but how can you make it work when you're out and about? You know, it may surprise you to hear it's not that hard, but it does take some smart planning and careful preparation. So today we're gonna to get into the plant paradox on the go. But first I want to know, is there anything you'd like to learn more about? If yes, please do me a favor and let me know in the comments below. I'm making this channel for you after all, so I want to make sure your health questions get answered. In fact, this video was actually inspired by one of our viewers who wrote in wondering how to help her husband stay healthy on the road. He travels a lot for work. And it's something that's been on my mind a lot because I've got a few really big trips coming up myself. And in my opinion, traveling is just better if you're feeling your best, whether you're on the road for work or for pleasure. So let's get right to it. First of all, I understand if you're on the road a lot, eating in restaurants every night is a drag. So while I'll briefly talk about restaurant strategy at the end of this video, today I wanna to focus on snacks, lunches, and other meals you can pack at home and eat on the go. First, snacks. Now, if you've been with me for a while, you know that one of my favorite snacks on the planet is nuts. They're high in protein and healthy fat, and they keep you full for a long time. But they can get boring, especially if you're on the road for a while. So I like to mix them up a little by tossing them in herbs and spices. Try garlic and rosemary, paprika and salt, or even a bit of cinnamon and vanilla stevia for a sweet tasting treat. But I understand that can get boring on its own. We all need options. So if you have a refrigerator access on your trip, or at least a well-insulated lunch bag, consider making a batch of guacamole and bringing some celery, jicama sticks, or Belgian endive for dipping. You can also stock your fridge with healthy cheeses like buffalo mozzarella. You know, Costco sells them in individual vacuum packed servings. It's really super convenient now. Or try some celery and jicama with almond butter instead. Another great snack option if you're browsing the grocery store shelves are those little seaweed chips, basically just dehydrated seaweed with salt and seasonings. But read the label to make sure there aren't any sneaky ingredients in with your healthy seaweed. Now, if you're on the road a lot, I think it's handy to get a big plastic container and fill it up with shelf-stable pre-portioned snacks like seaweed chips, nuts, those single serving packets of almond butter, bittersweet chocolate, or even jicama or coconut chips. That way, if you're on the road for hours at a time and you feel a little craving coming on, you know you're taken care of. And remember, if you aren't prepared, those long trips are a great time to play around with intermittent fasting. It's great for your health. It's way better than stopping at a gas station for a bite. And as long as you're staying well hydrated, you'll probably get used to it fairly quickly and start feeling great fast. If not, there's always lunch. Now, it's easy enough to find a plant paradox friendly meal at most restaurants. And like I said, I'll talk about dining out at the end of this video. But if you want to pack a lunch on the go, there are a few things you can do to make sure your lunch is delicious and not a soggy mess at lunchtime. First, you know that plastic container you're filling with snacks? Throw in some sea salt, some pepper, good quality olive oil, and balsamic vinegar. That way you can stop anywhere for salad greens and you'll be able to dress your salad and top it with some nuts for extra crunch. Always handy, right? Now, when it comes to packing a same day lunch, your possibilities are pretty darn limitless. Though unless you've got access to high quality lectin free bread, Traditional sandwiches are off the table. If you want something hot and don't have access to a stove or microwave, I suggest heating up something like a stew or a soup until it's piping hot, then transferring it into, into a thermos and sealing it tight. It'll cool a little, but if you really heat your food up at the beginning of the day, it should stay until lunchtime. And if you have access to a microwave, but not a fridge, consider packing frozen soups and stews in glass jars. They'll start to thaw throughout the day, then just unscrew the jars and warm them up. Now, if you're more of a salad person, I suggest either packing your salad undressed 
and using that oil and vinegar I mentioned earlier. Or if you don't have access to a fridge during the day and you want the convenience of a pre-dressed salad, ditch the delicate greens and make your meal with heartier ingredients like broccoli slaw, kale, chopped radishes, and shaved asparagus. Not only will it make your salad a little more delicious and exciting, because it's not your average lettuce, you'll avoid that end of the day soggy green thing too. But if you are someone who craves leafy greens, make your salad upside down. Put your dressing in the bottom of the container, followed by the heavy ingredients like animal protein, avocado, and chopped veggies. Then put the greens at the very top. When you're ready to eat, just invert the container onto a plate and you've got an instantly dressed salad and not a soggy green in sight. Bonus, if you've got refrigerator access and are packing multiple meals at a time, you can make a lot of salads this way at once. I find that I actually keep in five, six days in the fridge just like this. That's not bad. Or you could also just make a meal of snacks. Some nice goat cheese, a little prosciutto, plenty of leafy greens, maybe a fig or two. Think of it as a plant paradox cheese board. Now, if you're staying in a hotel, first thing you should do is ask for a refrigerator. Most hotels have them, though they may charge a small deposit. But that way you can keep things like salads and sparkling water cool for when you're hungry. And you can stash coconut yogurt, hard-boiled eggs, and pre-chopped veggies inside when you want an easy breakfast or a snack. And also, if your room comes with a hot water heater, buy a pack of miso paste. You've got everything you need to make miso soup, which is fantastic any time of the day. They actually eat it for breakfast in Japan. But when you do need to go out and eat, first and foremost, check out the nice long video I made about doing the plant paradox at restaurants. It's right here on this channel. But also remember these simple tips. One, when in doubt, just get a salad with oil and vinegar. Most restaurants will have some version of it, even fast food places and diners. Just make sure to pick off the croutons and tomatoes and go ahead, pay extra for that avocado. Your health is worth it. Check out the appetizers. I've been seeing lots of buffalo cauliflower, sauteed Brussels sprouts, and fennel salads on menus, most of which are perfectly compliant. Skip the meat and make your dinner vegetarian. Salads, roast veggies, even a nice baked sweet potato with a little Parmesan are all delicious options. And they're great for you too. Plus, when you skip the meat, you can rest assured you're not getting all the lectins that come from grain and corn-fed animals. So you're keeping your body safe too. Like I said, life's too short to stay at home, but traveling for work or for fun should not be a reason to let your healthy habits slide. In fact, I think you'll agree, when you feel your best, those trips are even more enjoyable. Because I'm Dr. Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you, road warrior.